How you doing YouTube? Mac Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. Interesting beer, really intriguing beer today. Uh, and this is uh, an Oceans Between Us from Great Raft Brewing. Um, super excited to give this worldwide because it's an extra super hopped IPA. Who would have thunk it? I would have liked one of those, but no. 100% Britannomyces. It's got a ton of bread in it. I really dig on my bread-based IPAs if they're done right. So I'm excited to dive into this one. Um, this comes courtesy of Corey. Thank you very much, brother. He actually sent me off a bunch of Louisiana-based beers, and this is one of them. Um, a pile of pretty fantastic Louisiana stuff. So, so far it's been a really good journey. Um, as far as what this one says on here, it says uh, Batch 6, March 2018. So this has a little bit of time on it, but it's a bread-based IPA, so that's okay. Uh, Oceans Between Us, an ever-changing exploration of funk and hops. Eldorado Double Dry Hopped IPA. Fermentation profile, 100% Britannomyces. Um, and that's that. 7% alcohol by volume. Craft in Shreveport, Louisiana. Done and done. Absolutely gorgeous labeling on here. It has that kind of... Here it has that beautiful textured kind of old parchment paper style stuff. Um, just the logoing and the colors they use. It just... Yeah, that's 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 a good label right there. You know, it makes me want to drink the beer even more, to be perfectly honest with you. So, let's dive in. So, I had a big hiss on it. It's not jumping out of the bottle. Sometimes with these kind of, you know, funky... I mean, Brett, you know... It's not, it's not, Brett aren't sour, words, they're hard sometimes. Brett's not a souring component. It used to be thought of as a bacteria. It's not, it's yeast. Um, but it's, it, it, it can impart so many different um, flavors um, and vibes to it. So they don't even tell you what kind of Brett, but there's so many different versions that it could marry perfectly with the IPA. It could be a Brett C, huge citrus thing. It could get a little bit funky. You don't know what you're going to get. It's a fun thing. Um, two fingers of beautifully bone white head look at that that's a pretty beer right there um, super tight compact bubbles kind of with a little bit of kind of neuroticness around it kind of graduating up to like small medium bubbles and she's got a haze to her that it my friends is a hazy beer but it's not like you know your typical kind of northeast turbid butternut squash haze that's unfiltered kind of funky bready kind of haze going on so yeah she looks a part of a tasty beer Let's see what the nose has Yeah, this is like classic Brett C for me. You're getting a heaping helping of grapefruit in there, a nice little spritz of lemon. It's it's citrus leaning, and I don't believe that's coming from the hops. I believe that's straight up coming from the Brett. And it's bright, it's acidic, it's pithy, it's rindy, it's all the words, all the cat's words everybody's always uses. But in here, it's it, it has a kind of heft to it, a little bit of meatiness to it. It's not as it's not as sweet, it's not as candied, it's not as um, New school, for lack of a better word. It smells beautiful. Citrus abounds. There's a little bit of soft kind of generic bittering in the back. A very basic sweetness. Nothing too crazy. It doesn't smell like a sweet beer. But there's enough sweetness there to kind of let you have a little bit of balance going on. Done and done. It doesn't smell over the top crazy. Like more, more times than not when people see extra hopped, dry hopped. They're thinking of an aggressive kind of aromaticness from that dry hopping. You're not going to get a ton of it here. But it's also several months old, so let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. Oh, that's bitter. That's bitter and citrus. It's exactly where I wanted this beer to go. Exactly. So, you're getting... From the get-go, this big, aggressive, dirty, earthy bitterness. Just bittering. There's no other, I don't want to go too crazy on what kind of bittering it is. It's just dry, dirty bittering. And then it's accompanied by that bright, grapefruity, lemon, lime, zesty kind of citrus thing you get from Brett C. It's complimenting it so well. You're not getting that citrus from the hops. You're totally getting it from Brett C. But your mind starts playing tricks on you because you're like, hmm, where does it come from? It's got to be from the hops. No, it's not. It's Brett C, baby. Um, and uh, it finishes so bone dry. It almost makes you think it's like a Brut beer. Um, you know, Brut, Brett, you know, they're kind of very similar um, words, but they're markedly different. But, uh, you know, the whole Brut thing is just dropping out all that residual sweetness. That's why they use it in Imperial Stouts, and that's why they've been messing with, it, with these huge uh, kind of triple IPAs. 
here you get that bone dry sweetness or bone dry beer with a little bit of company in its sweetness and all the sweetness isn't gone so it's dry while having enough sweetness to bounce everything off that big kind of bittering component um, from those hops and in that pop of huge citrus based lemon lime grapefruit zesty kind of citrus from that Brett Sea. this is a fun beer <laughs> zero alcohol to it super chuggable if you told me this was a five percent beer i'd be like okay yeah that makes sense it, it, you're not getting any of that seven percent at all so it makes it quite dangerous i dig this this is like this is this is this beer right now this environment it's fall i should probably be wearing a coat right now it's probably 55 degrees outside it's beautiful this tastes of fall to me no wait citrus and bitterness and dryness i don't know if that's really what fall is made of but it is kind of foot in the bill for me right now so i think it's awesome it's it's tasty it's probably one of the better brett example beers um that i've had ipa wise not i've had a ton but it's definitely uh in there so yeah super tasty stuff good on you uh great raft man this is tasty stuff that's it that's all i got let's talk about it is it one of the better brett based extra hop dry hopped ipas well i think it would be like out of the ones i had and it'd have to be at the top because i've only had a handful is it a good beer just in general is it a tasty beer it's one of the better beers that i've had as of late let's go that direction just in general one of the better beers i've had as of late eh, probably on the outside looking at that is it one of the more fun or one of the more interesting one of the more peak, peak my interest kind of beers yes just the way that brett plays with the bittering and hops and how dry it finishes it's just fun interesting and just yeah i like it Value and availability, no idea. Um, maybe uh, somebody, Corey, somebody can chime in on that and leave you with, if you like what, will you like this? If you like Brett, if you like hops, if you like Brett C, if you like that nice kind of balancing of bittering and citrus and dryness, it's it's a rare combination. You usually get it more in your farmhouse sales. That's probably more what this is, is more like a farmhouse sale. Um, with extra hops, if I'm going to really call it that, but we'll stick with the whole IPA realm. So if you like our kind of extra hopped farmhouse sales, it's definitely going to foot the bill for you. If you want a chugger, it's going to do that too. It's, it's got multi, multi-dimensional, multi multi-faceted skills. It's a seven-tool player. What can I say? Baseball references. Why? Anyway, so there you go. Another review in the books down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. If you want to check me out doing a podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a nice little Brett-based beer right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers.